I wanted to do a video on why petrol lighters or oil lighters, whatever you want to call them, liquid fuel lighters, are better for survival scenarios than other types of lighters. Now we can have a bit of debate about this, but I think there are more factors in favour of them. So, obviously with a petrol lighter or an oil lighter, they're very simple to light. You've got big flint wheels normally on them, and they light up nice and easy. If you're in a scenario where you know, you had to have a little fiddly lighter, that wouldn't be very good. You want one, especially if it's cold, where you can easily feel the wheel, even with gloves on, and strike it. And the extra reason why these are great is that it's liquid fueled itself. So, if we look at a bottle of lighter fluid, you'll notice with lighter fluid, that obviously you can store it easily in a can like this. You don't even have to use proper light fluid. You can use other sorts of flammable liquids in a sort of liquid fuel lighter and it'll work just as well. These lights work absolutely fine in the cold as well. Lots of other lighters have issues. Butane, for example, doesn't light well if it's cold. And then you'll have other issues with butane if it's windy. Lots of these... um sort of petrol lighters have quite good wind guards on them so that's a good feature with them they sort of you know are always good to use in the cold because the wind will find it harder to blow them out not as good as a jet lighter but then again a jet lighter is a butane lighter so it has all the drawbacks of a butane lighter that has now the only real issue with liquid fuel lighters is fuel evaporation however you can get ones like this peanut lighters which have no ring seal around the lid so they will light after um, literally months of being filled. So they're very good for that. I think in general sort of robustness if we look at a lighter like this, all the parts are quite solidly put together. For example on a Zippo like this, all really well done. On lots of butane lighters I find everything's a bit more fiddly as said earlier. A bit more flimsy. Even lighters I really like that have butane like clippers. A Zippo is definitely built to last in comparison. As I said fuel evaporation is a problem. But you either get a lighter like the um, peanut lighters. Or you simply just keep a few cans of these on you. And a good reason for a survival scenario you want a petrol lighter. Is because you can just find so many flammable liquids you can put in it. Light fuel, actual petrol, diesel, methylated spirits, all those sort of things, rubbing alcohol. See, some of those things will work better than others. But if it was just simply you had a butane lighter and you had to keep refilling that, you'd have to find butane. You'd have to hope the lighter doesn't gunge up too much. And you'd obviously have to hope your valve at the bottom didn't get broken. Because if you had a butane lighter and the valve goes, oh dear. Whereas a lighter like this... This works. So, quite a simple, straightforward video, but I think it is quite obvious if you think about it why a lighter that can run on any sort of flammable liquid is superior in a scenario where you don't know how easily available fuel will be than one that has sort of lots of intricate parts and requires a very specialist fuel source. If you're interested in lighter videos, I'm now going to start doing a lighter video every week at 1 pm UK time, it'll be scheduled. I will do gas mask videos pretty much every other day and on Sundays at 5pm UK time, but lighter videos are going to be up at 1pm UK time. 